Now, for World Humanitarian Day on Monday, the United Nations released its annual stats for the number of humanitarian workers killed on the job. And 2023 has broken all records, 280 having lost their lives worldwide. Most of them, 163, were killed in Gaza. But the nations of South Sudan and Sudan also appear on this grim podium. Our regional correspondent Bastian Renui reports from Kenya. Five of the ten most dangerous countries for humanitarians are in Africa. And on the continent, South Sudan is the most dangerous country. It's ranked uh, second globally. In 2023, 34 humanitarian workers were killed. Most of them were South Sudanese most of them uh, were directly targeted. Let's take the example of what happened on the 23rd of September 2023. Uh, three trucks were coming back to Juba after delivering assistance to uh, children. They were attacked. Two of the three uh, truck drivers were killed. The re remaining one was severely injured and the trucks were burnt without any reason. And that's directly impacting the population. Nine million people, three quarters of the population need assistance at the moment in South Sudan. Let's also mention uh, Sudan. It's ranked uh, third globally. In 2023, 25 people were killed, most of them after the beginning of the war in April. And in Sudan, they are also directly targeted. Uh, dozens of uh, warehouses belonging to NGOs were looted. Hundreds of cars belonging to international organizations were stolen. And that's uh, really preventing the delivery of aid. According to Joyce Msuya, she is the uh, United Nations Acting Under Secretary for Humanitarian affairs. She says that the normalizations of uh, violence against aid workers and the lack of accountability are unacceptable and unconscionable. And she has a good reason to be worried. 2024 could be uh, worse than 2023. So far, at least 172 aid workers have been killed globally.